Hi guys, I recently created this gauge that is changing the color depending on the value selected. And I thought I would share with you guys how I did that. So what we have uh, here is just a regular gauge that comes with Power BI. Um, what I created here for easy programming is a value table. Um, so I can just uh, play around with the colors. So how I did that as I just generated myself a table with uh, uh, numbers from 0 to 250. And then um, I also have two further tables. One is where I define those colors. Um, that table is here. <clears throat> so I say, okay, if, if the rating is excellent, I want this color. Uh, okay, this color and so forth. So I'm pulling this conveniently from an uh, Excel sheet that I have on uh, OneDrive. <clears throat> and then the second thing I'm pulling from a OneDrive are the target ranges. So I only have one KPI here, but of course you can have uh, multiple KPIs. So here I define that whenever I measure uh, customer lifetime value, it should be green from 100 to 150, okay. Uh, so uh, darker green in my case from 75 to 100, and the yellow I want from 50s to 75, red I want from zero to 50. In the gauge, you just define um, yeah, your minimum value, I just put on some placeholders here. So minimum, uh, the maximum 300, the target is at 120. And then you define the color with a function if you want. And in this case, we of course want that. And we can see uh, my function is a measure. So let's look at that measure. So what I did here, and I will post this under this video uh, is the actual function I used. So I defined two variables, um, which KPI we're looking at, and then the value um, from my value table, the 250 from zero to one, uh, 250. And then I'm making use of the switch uh, dex function. So um, basically what's happening here, I also left some explanation, is that we're using the actual value, so the 0 to 250, <clears throat> and comparing now, hey, is this uh, equal or larger than the from range we had uh, for that KPI, or is it and smaller than those excellent uh, uh, two range? Um, and yeah, we're doing that for all the four colors. So this is for OK. Is it uh, the value uh, between this range, bigger than from, smaller than two, um, for the yellow range and for the red range? And every time we're then, uh, if that is the case, then we're returning the, the color. So um, remember that color table that I had. Um, I'm just uh, for excellent, for example, I'm saying, okay, if, if the name is excellent, then give me that color. That's, that's all this measure does. So yeah, um, this is how I do it. One thing to note here, if nothing of the above applies, then you can have return something as well. In this case, I'm returning the red color. So yeah. Um, let's check this out one more time. So I said, okay, if anything below 50, I believe was red. So then we're, we're having the, the okay part and uh, we're moving over to the excellent part where we want to be. And then I only define ranges with, I believe 150. And now if I go beyond 150, um, the last bit here, uh, kicks in and returns that color that is out of range. All right. I hope this was helpful. Uh, otherwise, uh, feel free to ask me questions.